hello everyone. I'm Sydney Levine and I write a blog called Sydney's Buzz and I'm in the international film business and I'm honored today to be able to interview a young writer, director and actress, Alison Kuhn. Um, Alison started, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, she started as a student of drama in Cologne in 2013 um, and now is a student at the um, Film University of uh, Babelsberg, Conrad Wolf, and she's studying directing. She started in 2018 and will graduate in 2022. And this film is her first feature documentary. Um, it's an incredible case study of five actresses about an experience she also went through, which was a very abusive um, audition. And uh, this, The Case You is the title. And it's going to touch everybody who sees it or it has touched everyone who's here at the Q&A who has seen it. It touched me deeply. Um, I understood very much what they were going through, these young actresses with their denial, their self-blame, figuring they did something wrong, they were stupid, they didn't see it, and they were trapped. They were um, really trapped by this predator and trying so hard to please as young people do, and especially as actresses do. But I also was touched by it. And I think everybody who has been exploited by someone in a superior position has been touched by this, but especially women, because we're especially vulnerable and especially young actresses who try so hard to please such a difficult job. So congratulations. You made a wonderful film, very minimalistic on 4,000 euros. So um, congratulations. I Thank would, um, I'd like to know, um, if you moved into directing partly as a way of taking control of your life after this acting audition, it, are the two related at all? Uh, no, actually they aren't, but I get this uh, question a lot. <laughs> no, actually I, I've always wanted to study directing and it just seemed like the right time for it. But of course, uh, as, you, as you were saying, it, it gives me sort of control and it's a whole other um, position that I'm in now. And uh, initially working as an actress gives me uh, another pers perspective on working as a director. So uh, it's a very interesting combination. Yes, I think so. Um, and you're right that the cinematic depiction of this has never happened. We talk and talk and talk. There's a Me Too movement. We all understand it. But to put it into cinema was uh, very brave of you. And your first choice of what you're going to put into cinema. Can you talk about that? How come this was your first choice? Do you need to say this in order to move on with your own ideas? Uh, well, actually, I felt, I just felt the very urgent need to tell the story. And um, I think I, I, I talk about it very briefly in the film itself, uh, that I was in this situation uh, at the um, entry exam for my directing studies, mm -hmm. where I was uh, confronted uh, by another applicant um, who was part of this audition team back then, back then, and he recognized me. And um, he said, well, aren't you Alison Kuhn? You were in this audition. Uh, and um, it just blew my mind. And I was, I, was not, I was not prepared to be confronted in this situation. And then I went home after the first day of the exam week. And that's when I decided that I had to take this feeling and uh, make something good out of it if you know what I mean, um, take something painful and make it into something constructive. And um, that evening I decided that if I will make it to be accepted at this prestigious university, then I will use this new position to um, make a film out of it. And this sort of gave me my power back and uh, I powered through the exam week and got accepted. So yeah, that's basically the journey. Uh, 
So I have a question about the doc. The man who made this doc, he was in the audition, but he wasn't the director or the producer. Am I correct? No, no, right. He, he was a young person, I, maybe assistant or something like that. And he decided to make a doc about their abuse of you. Of no, no, no. Uh, you mean a doc, like a documentary? Sorry. Right. What you all, the five actresses were watching at the end and saying, stop. And yeah, you know, yeah. That was his decision to make that film? Um, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm getting it right. So uh, the, the director who, were, who was responsible for the auditions, he yeah. took the material and um, the material uh, that showed the abuses uh -huh. uh, and made it into a documentary. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and what we were watching in my film uh, it's a panel discussion at a film festival. Um, right. There were no, no, it wasn't the director who spoke there. It was just other people who talked about this case. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And the case had been made by that time. The women had brought this to the authorities. Yes. Uh-huh. And what has happened now with the case? Where does it stand? Yeah, unfortunately, um, <laughs> Uh, it's still ongoing. Uh -huh. so, um, at the time that we were shooting, we thought it would be a question of a few weeks, but um, those cases can take um, years, so it's still ongoing. And the other actresses, what are they doing now? Did they continue acting? Did they change careers? Yeah, they did. Um, Actually, all of them did. Um, some of them also work behind the camera now, and um, they are um, they are very um, they they're in a very good condition. They they said that also the shooting of our film gave them a lot of strength, and it was a very beautiful beautiful thing. They said to me that they had a feeling that it was out there now, and they left it in this theater hall where we shot. Mm -hmm. And um, that's, that was very beautiful for me as a director to hear that. Yes, yeah, it was a great way of healing to be able to do yeah. that and express. They're, they were all so vulnerable on the screen. You could see what, how difficult it was to yeah. live it. Um, I'm so happy to hear that. And are you all in touch still? Do you have yeah. a, it was a fabulous support group. It is, it's, it is, we're in touch basically every day. So. Oh, uh, every day. Yeah, yeah, it's been, um, it's, it's a great friendship that's um, evolved there. Yeah. Well, it really conveyed all that so well. Um, and how did you raise the money to pay the lawyer? I know one of them was very worried how expensive it was. Yeah. It was a whole year salary for an actress, maybe. Uh, yeah, the, the women supported each other. So um, they're, uh, now they want to do a crowdfunding because they still need more money. Um, but um, yeah, they basically um, asked uh, family and friends, I think, and their own, um, the money that they had saved. Yeah. Wow, wow. okay. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and what about the other women who were in the audition? There were hundreds of them. What mm -hmm. happened to them? Are, did they have any part in this film? Did they see the film? What happened to all those other women? Uh, yeah, we're trying to get in touch with them. Um, it's not that easy, but my protagonists uh, are trying to um, figure out their names, their ways to contact them. It's, uh, it's very hard because some of them were uh, minors and um, they're not like listed in some acting websites or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, but the, the, the goal is to contact them and um, let them know of the case because some of them might not even know what happened uh, with the material and that there even is a case. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and was it hard to direct this mm -hmm. for you to relive it as a director or set it up? I mean, so minimally. It was a very interesting journey, but I said from the beginning that I would take myself 
out of it for the most part because I needed to be that person that gave them like stability and um, I, I just had to be the director and not someone someone who's also involved in it and um, it wasn't hard actually because I felt that the the story of those five women covered my own feelings and uh, I didn't feel the need to talk any anything more about myself so um, it it gave me a lot of a lot of strength it was it was good yeah wow uh, um, and I see it was picked up by the best festival starting with ITVA the documentary film festival of Amsterdam which is the biggest the first and the best of all and that you won two Max Ophel's prizes one for um, acting and and a nomination for best doc which is the most prestigious award it was uh, one at Max Ophels and then one in Munich, uh, the student uh, student award, yeah, and the German uh, documentary film award for arts and culture, yeah. Fabulous, a wonderful, wonderful track record for your first film. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, and uh, what are you working on now? Are you still interested in social issues? Are you interested in women? What are your interests in film directing and writing now? Um, that, that sums it up quite, quite all right. I, I'm very interested in social issues and also um, women related issues. Uh, I have just uh, finished a, a short fictional film um, that was uh, inspired by the KCU. Uh -huh. uh, it's uh, coming out uh, soon. Uh, I, um, yeah, I can't say anything more <laughs> right now, but it, it will be out soon. And uh, I just uh, finished shooting my uh, graduation film, um, which also deals with power structures, but in, a, in another way. In what way? Is it a fiction or a documentary you're a student? It's a fiction. Actually, it's an, um, how do you say in English, literature adaption. <laughs> adapted from literature. Ad adapted from literature, yeah. <laughs> adaptation, that's it. Adaptation, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, of a book. Yeah. Of a novel, was it of oh, a novel? novel? Yeah, a German oh, novel. Yeah. Very interesting. Oh, and will this one be seen beyond festivals? Will it get into social action groups or educational use? What about the distribution of this film? We hope so. Um, we are just uh, talking to, um, well, to to sales people I, I'm also not sure about the English word but we're hoping that it will um, be spread into the world uh, like next year beginning of next year good I hope so it really needs to be seen it's yes. really really so it really captures the feelings that these women went through um, and um, you can't talk about the literature adaptation what the novel was uh, yes, yes, I can. Oh, uh, but I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's it's that known in the in, in US. Oh. It's uh, from uh, Rainer Maria Rilke, Die Turnstunde. Uh, mm -hmm. The gym class is the uh -huh. English title. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. And it, it's about how uh, power structures evolve at a young age. And mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, of course, the original uh, literature takes place like 100 years ago in a military school in Germany. Uh -huh. um, and I place it in uh, contemporary Germany in a boarding school. Ah, okay. Yeah. And is it about women in the power structure? Um, I, the, uh, in the original uh, literature piece, uh, it's a male protagonist, by, but I made it a female. So it uh -huh. came, became Carla. Usually, uh, initially it was Carl, and then I made it to Carla, yeah. <laughs> oh, I look forward to seeing that too. Um, yeah, so what do you think, does this film uh, help, do you think it'll help other women protect themselves because they're bound to reach this stage somewhere in their acting careers? Um, well, I hope so, but even more, I hope that it will prevent uh, people from abusing their power. So um, that's a very, a very important point. Um, of course, a lot of women write to me and uh, tell me about um, stories that they have lived through that uh, have been similar. And it just shows me that there are a lot of untold stories like this out there. 
Um, but especially I hope that it might be an eye opener for people in power positions. So mm -hmm. um, that's just a wish. Yes, well, they should they should see it also as part of their training. I mean, yeah. we need to educate them as well. They don't even understand it so often. Do you want to add anything that I didn't say that you would like to express? Actually, um, just thank you for the invitation. Uh, we're so happy that this film now goes around the world. It uh, moves us very deeply. And um, sorry for my bad English. <laughs> no, your English is... Perfect. Not bad at all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you ever so much. Um, it was great to see this film. It was wonderful to be able to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sydney. Thanks. Bye-bye.